Thank you, Madam Chair. It is a law, right? We're just clarifying the law. Representative Crawford, we're not asking questions at this point. The representative has closed for his bill. Okay. There's a motion just on the table. To clarify that. And we're Being discussing a... the motion, which is okay. a do pass on his resolution. Okay. So if you'll limit your yes. discussion to that, please. Okay. Being a freshman, I wanted to double check on that. We are clarifying the law. Sorry. And I think I told you guys the last time we were here. I let my conceal and carry lapse. I was in a precarious situation and did not know I could protect myself. That's what this does. It just clarifies. Thank you. Representative Scott, you're recognized. Did you? Representative, no problem. Representative Clown, you're recognized. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, I just want to make two quick points. The first point is that, as we heard just now, and as folks who study the law um, know, uh, the Taft decision is far from clear. It's a Court of Appeals case. It's about the Fourth Amendment, not the Second Amendment, as we just heard. And it wasn't a case that was decided by the highest court in our state. The Supreme Court tomorrow could overturn it. We'd have to come back and re-clarify, I guess, through a different resolution. I don't know what the procedure would be, but we don't know. Um, the TAP decision is far from clear. I would say secondly, um, even more importantly in my mind, the women and men who protect our communities, um, whose lives are on the line day in and day out to keep our community safe, do not agree with the assessment of the law as clear um, as the proponents of this resolution would have us believe. They don't agree with the assessment that Arkansas is a permitless carry state. I went home this weekend and I checked with my local law enforcement um, because I wanted to know what they had to say. Um, Chief Tabor of the Fayetteville Police Department told me uh, that this would make law enforcement's job harder, not easier. He told me that it would confuse Arkansans about their gun rights. He told me it's bad for law enforcement and it's bad for the citizens of Arkansas. If legislators are interested in clarifying the law, they should introduce a bill. Just FYI, here are a list of resolutions that we're hearing today. Uh, congratulating Anna Claire Ritchie as a recipient of a Prudential Spirit of Community Award, committing the Bentonville High School Wind Ensemble. Those are things that resolutions are reserved to do. They're important, but they're not bills. If we want to talk about whether Arkansas should be a permitless carry state, let's introduce a bill and have that conversation. This resolution states that Arkansas is a permitless carry state. Law enforcement does not agree with that assessment, so neither can I, so I will vote now. Thank you. Any further discussion on the motion to do pass? Members, we have a motion to do pass. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed say no. No. The ayes have it. You have passed your resolution. Thank you. Now, members, let's move on. Let's take a look at our calendar because we have another hour and I anticipate we're going to be working. So we're going to get caught back up. Okay, H.R. 1013, uh, the resolution Russian passed out of the House. It now goes before the full House. I'm not sure if it will be there by the end of the day or not. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. It, based upon the way it passed out of here, it should have no problem passing out of the House. Uh, I'm going to go and maybe do some interviews. See what I can do. But, um, Mom's demand attempted to block this, and they, um, well, they, they horribly failed here. There's about a half a dozen of them here, every town, uh, other organizations. And if y'all could clear as quickly as possible, we'd appreciate it. So I'll clear out as soon as the other folks kind of leave, and I'll try to do some interviews, but it looks like uh, basically they lost the effort to block this bill and it's probably going to pass because the house and senate it should be a problem okay, there. Everyone here i want to make sure everybody on the team can hear me 